Okay, let's begin. Hi, I'm Nandini. This is my first ever YouTube video on my YouTube channel. So I really hope you like and enjoy it. In this video, I'm going to give you nine tips of how you can have a productive work life. So let's get into it. My tip number one would be to plan your day a day before. What I mean by this is every task that you're going to do the next day, you should have it written down somewhere and planned the day before. And this includes picking out your clothes. Yes, you heard that right. I found it quite bizarre too when my seventh grade teacher told me, if you're always going to get up 10 minutes before you have before you have to come to school. Why do you torture yourself through that pain of taking a shower in those 10 minutes, combing your hair, meeting your parents, having breakfast and then rushing all the way to school and still being late and not making up in time. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And so I actually started doing it. I started taking up my uniform, ironing it and keeping it ready the day before I actually had to wear it in school. And that practice I followed six years later to this day as well. So I would really tell you guys to plan the day before because your brain is not wired to wake up as soon as your body does and remember all the things it's supposed to do that day. So why put your brain through so much of turmoil and hard work? Just keep whatever things you need ready in the morning, the night before. The second tip would be to clean your room. If you're like a neat freak like me and you don't like clutter on your desk but you do end up having clutter because you write so much during the day and you want to clean it, clean it the night before. Again, spend 10 minutes cleaning it every day so that the next morning you don't feel like you have to do another thing in addition to making your bed which takes up so much of your morning time that you're already tired and you don't feel like working the whole day. Third tip would be, very important, to make a planner. Making a planner is very important. I cannot stress the importance of this. All my friends who ask me how I maintain my time so well, it's because of my planner. Now I started you know, using Google Calendar quite recently and I would definitely recommend it to you guys because you can color code, it will set you a reminder and it will always be really helpful when it comes to even your small tasks such as making dinner for your family. So put everything in that Google Calendar and then you're good to go. Apart from that, I think having a daily planner also will really help you. In your daily planner, you can mention tasks like things you have to do every day, your personal tasks, your professional tasks, if you have any you know, college-related work that you have to do or career-related work that you have to do, you can jot it all down and I'm telling you the satisfaction of scratching each one of them out after you've accomplished that that day, it's like the best feeling in the world. So I would definitely recommend making a daily planner. Now for me, my daily planner includes, like I said before, my professional tasks, which might include anything from filming this YouTube video to editing it to, you know, recording my podcast, to my university related work, say I have an assignment due or something like that, to my personal work, such as feeding my piggies or anything like that. So I think writing them down, color coding them so that your brain automatically knows which task is, you know, your priority and which task is to be done when, you can do that. I'm not telling you should detail everything down, like, you know, you get up at 8 in the morning, you have to have a shower by 8 30. I'm not telling you to detail everything from 8 to 8 15 to 8 15 to 8 30, not like that. But a general outline I'm telling you will definitely, definitely help you and make your day so much more productive because every minute and every second of that day actually counts. And each one of us is given the same amount of time, so you should really use it well. Then I would say having a schedule really helps. Now, if you're a university student like me or a school student, you will have a schedule. Now, most of us just look at it online or, you know, you can print it and you can stick it up on your desk. I personally like to handwrite it because handwriting helps me remember more. And when I color code it, I know each task is due when. Like, this is my schedule for NYU and I'm just going to start as a freshman so I haven't really attended these classes but I already have them written down along with their timings along with the color for every class if it's a bio class then it's a green color if it's literature and society in the middle east it's blue color if it's writing the essay it's orange color everything is color coded so that all my future tasks and assignments and exams related to those subjects will instantly you know pop up in my head and be like oh okay this is for writing the essay I need to work on that because that assignment is due in two days so I think having a schedule and again color coding it really helps. Then I would say you can also try using sticky notes. Sticky notes could be for any small task like going grocery shopping with your mom or playing a board game with your cousin or anything like that which you know you've been procrastinating or you know it's a task that you'll easily forget or let go in the process of that whole day. So write it down and put it 
where you spend a lot of your time in the day. I personally spend a lot of my time on my desk working and I don't really like to work on my bed. So that's where I put out, you know, more, more, most of my sticky notes and that's where I'll see them and I'll remember and I'll actually follow and stick to the plan. These were all my tips and actually the main tip, plan your day the day before. My second tip would be stick to your sleep schedule. I'm not the best person to, you know, lecture people on sleep schedules because I wake up pretty late and I sleep pretty late too. But I would say at least sleep for the seven to nine hours. You know your body, you know how much sleep you need. Stick to that, don't sleep extra because I've realized that every day that I sleep extra, I end up feeling more tired that day. Don't even sleep less because that's also really bad for your body. Of course, there are exceptions, but try to stick to your sleep schedule because then you'll wake up more energized and more prepared to go to work. Tip number three would be workout. I recently started working out during these quarantine months, the past six months, and I definitely would say that it has really helped me so much. It, you know, induces happiness hormones in everybody, and that's what gives you a real sense of satisfaction after you finish that workout in the morning. And I usually like to work out in the morning because I know that that is a task I would love to procrastinate and if I end up waiting till the evening I will already be so tired from all my previous tasks that I will just procrastinate to the next day and that cycle goes on and on and on so I like to work out in the morning get it out of the way and feel really boosted up and really energized for the whole day my tip number four would be to have a good breakfast. Now I know this might be a cliche tip and a lot of people just simply skip breakfast or have a cup of coffee or a banana and they're ready to go. But I personally am not like that. I love to have a good heavy breakfast, whether it's eggs, whether it's cereal bread, anything that suits your body because you have not had anything for the past, what, seven to nine hours and then you're just heading to work without eating anything or just drinking a cup of coffee. I don't really think that's really great for your body. You need that energy to get you going and when you have the energy, you actually work more efficiently and finish tasks sooner and in a better manner. Then I would be saying tip number five, which is finish big things or important things first, which basically means learn how to prioritize. I think learning how to prioritize is very difficult, but it is very important. Know that whenever you get an assignment or a work or a task, try to finish it off as soon as possible give a good quality work but plan it out over you know a few days or weeks if it's a major task and work small by small pieces every single day to finish that task to reach that goal and then submit it on or before time learn that if a task is due in two days work on that first and then focus on something else instead of procrastinating both those tasks so really learn how to prioritize and a sub tip here would be do not multitask I cannot stress the importance of this more. Please don't multitask. Nothing, you know, nothing is, you know, as bad as multitasking that you're working on this assignment, side by side you're answering a call or you're writing emails. Please don't do that to yourselves. Focus on one thing, get it out of the way and then get to the next thing because that, in, in that way, you have finished that one task that you focused on in those 10 minutes in a good way and then you won't have to bother about it because it's already done and it's done in good quality. So please don't multitask. Tip number six would be to take constructive breaks. Of course, taking breaks is important, but don't work like you work for one hour and then you take a break for another one or one and a half hour. That is just treating yourself and that is left for other times. When you have to be productive, you take constructive breaks. For example, if you work for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break and you do that three times, and on the fourth time you take a 20 minute break, this is actually a well-known principle. I'm sorry, I don't really remember the name then that actually helps you or if you work for two hours and then take a 20 minute break don't you know don't work for six or eight or even four or two hours without taking a break because then your brain gets tired of the work you're doing and that actually slows you down and that is more of a waste of time you'd rather just take a break and then get back fresh and work on it with the same amount of efficiency that you had before also when you take that five minute break try not to stick to any social media or you know things that will distract you okay because you know when you hit that instagram page you're going to scroll and scroll and scroll and that five minutes will become one hour or even two hours very easily and that's a complete waste of time in those five minutes you can do anything go for a walk have a glass of water you know maybe maybe call a friend for just just five minutes just remember whatever you're doing stick to that five minute rule and follow it consistently 
then my tip number seven would be to remove all distractions now distractions for me personally mainly would be social media now what i like to do is i keep my phone facing down i don't really lock it up in a drawer like a lot of people so that i'm not distracted by it because a lot of times a lot of my work is also on my phone and i need it but whenever i'm not currently using the phone i keep it facing down so that i can't see any notifications and i obviously mute my phone so that i'm not distracted by that tweet now that tweet is gonna be on your phone even when you look at it an hour later so look at it an hour later after you've worked and you're happy about that work you have that satisfaction that yes you finished that task for the day and now you're taking that well-deserved 10 to 15 minute break my tip number eight would be to have cold water or wash your face with cold water whenever you're feeling sleepy or distracted or moody. You know, we all have those days where we don't feel like working, but you know, some days you just have to work. You have to get in there, you have to finish your task and you have to get out. And those are the days that really, you know, they're really irritating. So what you can do during that time is wash your face with cold water and have a glass of cold water that really wakes you up at least it wakes me up and makes me charged enough to finish that task for the day my last tip my tip number nine would be to stick to all these tips please i cannot i cannot tell you guys how important consistency is taking small steps every day really helps you it takes about 21 days for a person to make a habit out of something and at least if you're doing this, if you're following these tips, stick to at least those 21 days and after that forever so that you can build on your productivity skills. Nothing will work if you don't want it to work and you don't put in the effort because you have to put in the effort for it to work. So please, please, please follow and stick to your schedule and most importantly, create a schedule that fits you and makes you comfortable and happy at the end of the day. So that is it for this video guys. I also run a website where I constantly post a lot of blogs and articles and pictures so the link for that will be in the description below please go give that a check and I also run a podcast which is also available on Spotify and Anchor and many other platforms the link for that will also be in the description box below as for this video please give it a like and please do subscribe to my channel I will see you in the next video hopefully and bye bye